Are they gonna let the intro rock? It doesn't seem oh. like they're letting the intro rock for this mirror. If they fake us out, bro, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm on definitely a name we've seen in, in a lot more recent times, right? Like, I think later, later half of uh, last year, we saw Ramona popping up in a lot of these smaller brackets. Pork Laser is definitely a lot more of an older name, though, seen from like yeah. the beginning of the game. Definitely died down a bit more into into more recent times, but still prominent. So I'm interested to see how this match goes. I especially like it because I have the bike and intro modded, so I get to hear the full thing for once. Oh, that's true. My friends out from Pork Laser immediately bursting from Madonna. Oh, nice JS. Oh, ready for that close slash punish. Got the LTG into the Ascabari. Nice backdash. Oh, punishes a parry. Force that first to keep the corner. Oh, nice good six. Oh. <laughs> you're plus one, yeah, but. Oh. Yeah, Harry doesn't care. Plus, plus three, but plus your jab two. is right before. We got that parry, bro. Got that backdoor incident right now from Rubano, I think. Oh my gosh, this is by are these is this bike neutral? Is this Dragon Ball neutral? What are we looking at? I'm saying we're seeing them definitely play a lot more airborne, right? And even when they go for grounded buttons, a lot of them are at similar timing, so they're not really getting a lot of whiff punishes in. It's, it's very oh. hectic in this mirror. Nice parry from Blood Blazing on the Fuzz Lash. <laughs> Just parry to parry. This is actually bike and Raider off. <laughs> we're viewing like it that. live. The Ascavari hit in a bit more delayed than the H-Cabo, so that will collect catch the, the parry for a bigger pickup. We got this wall break here though. Let's go for the high, double high or one high, one low. Oh no, just messed up the jump most likely. Probably one for a TK Yosanson here. Ramona's gonna have to clutch this out. Definitely a very hard position to, to come from. Yeah, with only Wild Assault on deck. And the thorough punish is a great way to start it. Not tethering does not matter. Got that parry left, right, up as Kabuto for Pork Laser. It's taking game one pretty handedly right now. Oh, this this match is just. I guess the only word I can use to describe is belligerent. Because both these players are just throwing buttons out there, hitting buttons, hitting parries. Like, I've never seen Perry use so much until tonight. So it's, it's a very belligerent mirror, right? A lot of things that happen in this mirror, just hectic all over the place even, right? Yeah. Duel one. Oh, TK is on center round start. Wild. Nah, that's the bike and player classic. Get him with that frame 13 overhead. Oh, and we see Ramona here with the color switch too. It's a little like it's work. A Marvello situation where you get that power up if you switch the color. Yeah, I believe I've seen some color switches lead to reverse 3 0s. There was big counter hit conversion from Pork Laser right now though. Oh, I'm just getting hit by the Escobar. Run immediately for another combo. Oh, oh, the wires. Needed. That's gone bad. Yeah, that's death. No chance to burst. Oh, good. TK is on center round start again. I can't believe we saw it twice. I mean, to be fair, that's the mind of a Viking player, right? They wouldn't yeah. believe if I could it twice. Now all we just need to see is TK Yozansen on wake up. <laughs> that's the full bingo card right there. Oh, oh that's Kamari in neutral. This is going to be a big throw combo if Ramona doesn't fade yeah. it. Oh my god. And there's a nice, simple super punish on the blocked burst. Sending it to 2 0 in Pork Laser's favor. Pork Laser definitely up by a really big advantage right now. I think Pork Laser's playstyle is definitely, definitely getting in Ramona's head, right? Definitely some of some of the tilt we're starting to see with some of these decisions. I wonder if Ramona's going to take a second to, to step back, take a break, you know? Try to try to readjust the mental. Yeah, Bygen is one of those characters that she's got so much in her kit. Like, you know, Bygen's have all this 
just flow chart stuff of far slash into 2h or far or 2s 2h that you know you have to kind of force them through but then there's so much like yozansen usage js usage run up throw the post s comedy situation that just makes it very easy to get overwhelmed on the mental stack oh my gosh 2h counter hit We've been seeing these high lows on ground start from Porkinator. Two TKOs on sends or run up two H. What's happening? Are we playing? Are we playing plus R or something with some crazy stuff? <laughs> All double whiffing baits out the parry. Has to get burst out on deck. Oh, that oh. could almost have been really nice. Mr. Yozonsen, that's unfortunate. We got this next up going in right now. Nice watch from Park Laser. Good wires here. Oh, Catch 60 early. All right. Ramona, yeah, parrying. That also, I'm surprised it still attaches off parry. That is interesting. I'm also surprised by that interaction too. I suppose it technically counts as a guard crush after it gets parried. Like, it guard crushes you, and it technically isn't like a hit. So, I guess? It's a really interesting interaction. Pork laser are now set point. Oh no! Oh, one -ish. All the BRC stuff. Getting fancy with it. The BRC 50-50 is coming out right now. All the JK- Oh, it was almost a really cool combo there. Almost saw the tatami into the full pickup, but that's just an unfortunate drop. It happens oh in my god. Oh my god, the high fight. <laughs> oh, what were you pressing? Oh, and the reversal, super. This combo should kill, honestly. No, just baiting burst a little too long. Ramona trying to hold on and get the kill, and they can't. Land into parry. Nah, that's actually insane. We see Pork Laser with the 3-0 moving into winner semis.